Yeah. And we'll just take questions. So this is the third week in a row now. The offense have looked kind of sluggish out there. I mean, did you think there was any improvement this week at least? Uh, not on the scoreboard. No. Um, you know, we've we've uh, it, for whatever reason we weren't able to get into a rhythm. Um, you know, we, once again we had some missed opportunities, especially in the first half. Our defense played exceptional. They did a great job, and uh, we've got to do a better job. Um, you know, when they give us good field position. Uh, not going three and out, um, you know, making sure that kind of get that first first down and get some get some momentum, get some get some rhythm, get something rolling. Well, a lot of those misses seems like they're coming downfield on the vertical routes. I mean, what's missing on those? Is it a timing issue, a comfortable <coughs> issue? Um, yeah, I can't answer that. We we're just gonna have to continue to work on it. Um, I'm not sure that it's it's timing because um, I feel like you know we work on it every day. But again, you know, obviously. We'll go back and look at the film tomorrow and and, uh, <clears throat> and figure out what we need to do to uh, to get better. In your opinion, why has this offense been struggling? Um, like I said, you know, for whatever reason, we just haven't been able to get into a rhythm. You know, whether that's um, you know not converting on third downs or getting in the red zone and, and sputtering out, and, and you know. Only coming out, coming away with three, um, which we did a few times in the Baylor game, and then obviously our only uh, chance uh, today. Um, so it's a you know we, we've got to do a better job of in practice having a little bit of a sense of urgency, uh, you know, and put ourselves in those game situations, uh, see yourself doing it, um, and give yourself a better chance to be successful. You took more hits today than you've probably taken all season combined. How do you feel physically after this game? Uh, you know. We'll, Probably have a ton of guys in there in, in, in treatment um, tomorrow. Give credit to their defensive line for being able to put some pressure on um, on us. They also, you know, they were able to um, send some send some blitzes and, and do a good job of, of bringing more than uh, than we were able to pick up. So, um, but you know, like I said, just have to get into the training room and, and get physically ready for for Monday. It seemed like their cornerbacks cornerbacks did a really well, good job on covering their guys. Would you agree? And well, what were you seeing? You know. I don't know if it was necessarily, a, you know, I, I thought, I agree with you, I think their corners did, did do a very good job, but I, I think it was um, them being able to change up their scheme. Um, uh, they changed up coverages quite a bit, kind of kept us off balance, and we were, you know, we weren't able to really get into a rhythm in terms of uh, what coverages they were going to play, and so that's a credit to them, you know, they were off, and then they were, they were off at the snap, and then they were jumping up and playing flats, or, or they were pressing at the snap, and they were bailing out, so, um, you know, as an offense, we've just got to do a good job with our eyes post snap and, and talk to each other on the sideline and about what we're seeing, and uh, so that we're able to, you know, take advantage of, of some of the stuff they're doing when they're trying to disguise coverages. There were some big play opportunities where you threw just a little behind or just a little over the receiver. Is there anything mechanically that you're dealing with or timing? That you know, not mechanical. It's it's uh -huh. just it's just a matter of I've got to make the play and put it where the put it where our guy needs it uh, to make to, to make the catch. And you know, I thought our receivers did a good job. Obviously, you know, in the second half, um, uh, when the game was out of reach, we, we put a couple drives together off our own goal line and, and did a good job. But we've got to be able to do that um, earlier in the game, and and you know that that's on me as a quarterback. And we've got to be able to you know timing wise keep continue to work on it in practice or. Um, just to get things happening quicker, and like I said, you know, put yourself in that situation and practice so that it gives you a better chance to be successful. Jerry Jones always talks about getting better around you. How would you assess your wide receivers' performance today? Well, you know, they did a good job. Like I said, their defensive backs did a good job um, disguising coverages. Their secondary did a good job. Their their backers were kind of flying around and getting in passing lanes, and then they're, they were able to uh, create pressure. So, you know, a lot of that comes down to having to throw a quick game. Uh, Quick passing, quick passing plays, and um, again they were they were flying around. But I thought our receivers uh, did a good job of, of making plays when they presented themselves. And I've just got to get them the ball in, in better situations for them to have success. Ben Godshaw got helped off twice, and then when the game was a little bit out of hand in the second half, are you surprised that he kept coming back in? Well, you know, he's a tough kid, and you know we all want to be out there. It's 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 you know obviously your pride's hurt when you look up at the scoreboard, but. Um, but Sorry. you know we we're, uh, we've got to continue to fight, um, and that's what that's what Coach kept preaching to us is just continue to fight. Uh, you know, 
you can't, you can't get down on yourself because in those those times, obviously, when you're going through adversity like that, that's when that's when uh, you show your true, true character, and that's when that's when you're going to get better. So, you know, like I said, I thought we were able to put some drives together at the end. Um, didn't come away with any points, so we've again missed opportunities. Got to take care of that. Um, but you know, we're going to find some stuff on film tomorrow that we can build on, and we're going to find some stuff on film tomorrow that we've got to work on. Home field advantage seemed to sort of be taken away in this game. Does that affect the offense any or no? No, you know they they brought it. They brought quite a few fans, but um, you know. Did you talk about that rhythm, and you, you want to get in that rhythm with your receivers, and absolutely. But you know, I don't think that had anything to do with crowd noise. I you know I felt comfortable on the field. I think our, our offense felt comfortable on the field. We didn't have to use silent count or anything like that. You know, obviously, A and M travels well. Um, they bring up they bring a lot of fans, but. Um, how do you convert that comfort level into confidence going ahead toward TCU? Well, again, you've got to put yourself in that situation in practice. We've got to, you know, when we're out there practicing, it's not just another play. Let's, you know, it's got to be third down and eight now. We've got to convert it here, and, you know. So we, we've got to put ourselves in that situation in practice and, and, can, and see ourselves being successful on it in order for it to happen in the, in the game. You know, speaking of third downs, this team was three of eighteen on third downs in this game. What do you have to do to be better and start converting some of those third downs? Well, obviously, that's not very good. You're not going to win a game going three of eighteen um, on third down. I think you know we've we did a very good job against Baylor. I believe we we're sixty percent on third downs, and then we've kind of gone downhill since then. So, um, you know, again, the way you convert third downs is is it, it's it's all about. You know, having the will to stay on the field and, and just you know having the will to get enough yards to, to get on the field. It's not anything physical because we're able to pick up the yardage on, on first and, and first and second down. We've got to put ourselves sometimes in better situations on first and second down, so we're not faced with third and tens, third and elevens, where the defense can you know then the defense is in control. So um, there's that, and then you know again goes back to putting yourself in, in that position in, in practice. Like I you know like I just said, okay. So we talk to each other on the practice field. We got third and eight. Now let's go convert. So it, it's it's you know there's a couple things there that we've got to improve upon to, to to get better on third downs. So do you think the intensity is there during practice? Absolutely. It's just you know it, it it's not it's not a lack of intensity. It's not a lack of of anything really. It's just the fact that as a team, instead of we're running a play to work on it to get better, well let's take some of those plays and work on them for third down. And that's just a matter of talking to one another uh, and t of talking to one another and. and making sure we're on the same page there so that we can see ourselves being successful at it and go out and have a better chance to be successful. Do you think that the chemistry between you and your receivers has improved since the first game? Absolutely. We work on it, you know, constantly, every day after practice. Um, I feel like, you know, we're, we're getting better, but, again, we've got to take it from the practice field to the game field. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Thank you.